How does router work? On our latest video introduction to IP world, we found out that bits are language of machines, how packets traverse the network, and that whole logic is organized thanks to internet protocol. So we've got end devices which produce symbols that we call bits and form them into IP packets. More the information to transmit, more bits needed to be sent and more packets to be formed. Those IP packets are sent along the path via network consisting of routers that are responsible for proper packet routing towards destination. Now, what is so specific with IP packets that allows routers to understand which way to route the information? Every device sending and receiving IP packets has own unique address called simply IP address. IP address is like our postal home address. If someone wants to send an envelope from Chicago to us and we live in Atlanta, he needs to write the destination postal address of our home in Atlanta on envelope. If such envelope gets to Chicago post office, it's checked against the destination postal address and sent via the Atlanta post office. The aim of IP address is very similar to postal address. It has to locate the sender and receiver in the network. Because routers know the path towards destination, they can forward the packets. But how they know where to route the packet? Let's take a look closer into the router components and the routing process. Routers have ports or more precisely interfaces that are interfacing with other network devices. Interfaces connect the links that are used in packet forwarding. Links can be cable, fiber or even wireless. When packet is coming on interface, the router needs to know which interface has to use to send out the packet. Router checks this against the routing table which has entries related to each known destination. Each routing entry stores destination address and address of next device on the path called next hop device. Now having next hop address, router can determine the outgoing interface and send the packet. Let's explain this with real IP information. Device A sends the IP packet to device B. Such packet includes the destination IP address of device B, which is 192.168.120. Packet comes to the router interface. Router analyzes the destination IP of packet. Then performs the lookup into its routing entries to find out the best matching destination. Finds out that to get to IP of device B, packets should be sent out via router 2. Then checks that the router 2 is accessible on the interface 2. Now, router has all information to send out the packet. The same process happens with every router along the path to destination. Let's review what we know so far. Packets traverse the network consisting of routers. Routers forward the packets based on destination IP address. IP addresses uniquely locate sender and receiver devices along the path. Router consists of interfaces which links with other network devices. When packets arrive on the router interface, router checks which interface to use to send out the packet. This check is performed against routing table. Routing table has information about next hop. Now, as we know what is done step by step, let's take a closer look at routing table search process. When root lookup is started, 
Having destination IP of packet router, always choose best matching routing entry. This rule is called longest prefix match. This means that in our case 192.168.120/32 is more accurate than 192.168.10/24 in the search for 192.168.120. The prefix and network is often used interchangeably. Why this one is more accurate? Because 192.168.120/32 entry matches exactly 32 bits of our destination IP, whereas 192.168.10/24 matches only 24 bits of our address. Don't worry now. To find out more about the IP addressing, watch the IP addressing video, so we'll uncover the knowledge about IP address, mask, subnets and so on. And last but not least, how routers learn the correct destination? There are two options. First, we can tell the router explicitly how to route the destination. For example, if we want to go to B, go via router 4. Want to go to C, go via router 3. This is called static routing, where the destination are written to router's configuration by hand of administrator. But imagine that we need to configure all internet destinations, over 600,000 routers. Would we need to provide over 600,000 entries? No way. So there is one smart idea, dynamic routing. We can configure the routers to learn the IP destinations from other routers automatically. This process is called, again, dynamic routing. Example, router 3 has connected laptop C so advertises the C address to its neighboring router. Neighboring routers R1 and R2 receive the advertisement and inject C destination into their routing tables. They, in turn, send the information to their respective neighbors. In such way, without human intervention, whole network is able to learn the destinations. Let's sum up what we have learned. Routers have the interfaces which connect links with other network devices. When packet comes at the interface, router needs to find the right interface to send out the packet. The destination IP is checked against routing table that has routing entries. The search rule longest prefix match helps the router to find the best matching destination network. Such entry has information about next hop device IP address. Router chooses the right interface and sends out the packet. There are two approaches based on which routers learn the IP destination. Static routing, which allows administrator to configure route information manually, and dynamic routing, that allows routers to learn prefix from other routers without human intervention. To learn how the switches work, watch our next video. To learn from the beginning, watch our introduction to IP World. Thanks for watching.